in this video we will learn about progress window in business central so why do we need progress window we have pages right so pages are like an interface where you can interact that is user can interact with the business central but why do we need a progress window instead of a pages okay so progress window in the sense you might have seen um, many times like if you wanted to display an error message okay displaying an error message displaying a simple message to the user or displaying a confirm message to the user like asking yes or no getting a value like getting a response like yes if you want to con continue or uh, if they press no they cannot continue further so this is what the three types of progress windows which we have in business central that is error message and confirm message so we will look into one by one so there are various situations where we want to use these dialog methods like a prog instead of a pages okay that is a progress window and why do we need these dialog windows is what if you want to display a window that indicates the progress of some processing that may take a long time for example if you are clicking something okay and uh, if you have clicked some link and it is it is taking a longer than usual then you have to display a message to the user that sorry it is taking longer than usual so so please wait if you want to wait please click okay if you want to leave please click cancel okay so this such thing or if you want to stop the running program to display an error message if you have stopped something okay you might have faced this in uh, google uh, browser or something no sometimes suddenly it will prompt a message like it is uh, it is not working or it is idle so if you wanted to wait or if you wanted to cancel so this is like a error message okay and if you want to use if you want to make the the user to confirm a choice before the program continues then you will be using this okay so uh, we'll be using this that is the best practices of messages like if you wanted to write a message correctly according to the grammatical rules of the language you can use the backslashes okay like if you want to make the uh, breaks in the message you can use multiple like you can uh, uh, write all message only in one line so like if you want to display all these prompts like if you want to display a message that message should be very precise and it should reach the customer what you are trying to convey to them okay uh, you should not write a big paragraph on the message okay so we'll be creating a message so uh, whatever i told no like uh, we can we have various methods to do this so we have uh, one is what message we have a message function in order to display a message okay we have a message function we have a error function we also have an error function and we also have a confirm function function method so you can take it in any any way so anyhow no this is a method error confirm so whatever it may be so this three progress windows will be using so it's a very simple uh, page which i have created and this is a very simple page okay so this is a progress window and i make, made it as a card so here you can see that i have uh, declared all uh, the required uh, um, required uh, variable like a text number decimal and text uh, which should be displayed in the message that is label uh, and the label another label third label and some question the boolean uh, the customer name uh, and uh, the next uh, label and the job queues everything I have created this job queues the coordinate which I have created in the previous video you can just go ahead and check it so now we are going to see three uh, progress windows okay so first window is what the message uh, so message message is the method which displays a message in a window that remains open until the user chooses the okay button okay until the uh, uh, until the person chooses the okay button uh, the message will remains uh, remains there like a message window will remain there okay so there will be a button over there so the message but message is very simple okay simply you just wanted uh, uh, you just wanted to click um, message that is you have to call the function called message and inside that you can pass the string directly okay so this is how we'll be using the message functions there uh, so how this message functions usually work is what like 
So here you can see this is the progress window. I have these three actions me message, error and confirm. So we are in the message block. OK, so if I click message, you can see that you have a window that is you are using a message. OK, you are using a message and it is having only an OK button here. Fine. So it's having an OK button until you click OK. This window will be there. OK, you can see this window okay so the message methods run asynchronously which means that the message isn't run until the method from which it was called ends or another method requests the user input so the method is useful for notifying the user that some processing has been successfully completed so you can use this if you want to show that the processing is successfully completed you are using message okay so click ok and then you can see here that i have after this is what the first message i have displayed so you're using the method and then the text i have used the name and the number so this is the text i am um, this text is 000 is what the variable which i have created you can use message window to display the text and numbers okay so text is 000 plus text is 001 so text is 001 is the number okay and then i have used percent percentage 1 slash okay percentage one it will retrieve the value of that so the percentage one is what the um, uh, text is zero zero one and text is zero zero to the text is okay the text is what the dr gomati so it is displaying the message dr gomati percentage two and uh, i am also displaying this particular text okay that is a dr gomati this is what the text here okay and number and slash which means that it will take you to the next line backslash and it is ending up here so you can see here that until i press okay you can see that this message will be there so this message function we usu usually use to in order to display some message to the user okay so unlike the progress window the message method doesn't require that you are first declare a variable of the type dialog the message method creates a window of its own okay it will create a window this window is created by the message dialog itself okay and um, you can see here that uh, next one is what the confirm action okay this is a confirm action so you can see here that i have used the image confirm action where uh, this image you can find it here okay that image is the parameter which you can use it for uh, creating an image for your action okay this is what the confirm action here and if i click here confirm you can see here that this is a confirmation dialog box exit without enab enabling the customer name dr gomati so here you can see what we have did it here so here i have used to trigger on action which if you click on that particular name you have the customer name and the question so question type is what text is 003 exit without enabling customer name so this is what the question which i have used it here answer colon dialogue so this is what the method dialogue dot confirm so actually our confirm method starts from here but you have to use this dialog okay dialog dot confirm okay so uh, that is what i told message if you directly use the message function it will create a window but if you only use this dialog function dialog um, uh, uh, dialog keyword or dialog um, uh, class or whatever you can tell so this dialog is required in order to display that particular uh, display this window okay i'm talking about this window okay dialog dot confirm so i am using this dialog dot confirm question so what is the question here this is the question and this is true this is the boolean value and this is the customer name so you can just keep your mouse over the confirm so for that confirm procedure you must pass a string okay and other than that this default boolean and the value is uh, optional okay you must confirm you must pass one string one parameter into it that is should be a string parameter and finally i'm displaying a message okay that is text is 004 comma answer so text 004 is you selected percentage one and the answer is what the boolean s yes or no so here you can see we exit without uh, so once if i click s so what it will say you selected s 
okay and this is a message box this is not a confirm uh, confirm that is the dialogue confirm dialogue okay so dialogue box because you can see that you have only one option that is okay but in the confirm you can see that you will have two option so again i'm just clicking in confirm you have two option that is yes and no this yes and no is available only in the confirm dialogue box okay and you can easily find out that whether this is a confirm or a message so this is about the confirm and the third one is with the error message so error error is an another important progress window which is similar to the message method except that when the user has acknowledged the message from an error method execution ends okay if you have accepts the uh, error message the error method is similar to the field error method we have a field error method okay so uh, we will discuss about uh, the methods like a calc field calc sum field error fee, uh, field name in another video uh, so this is for uh, i like similar to that so error so this is if enable is equal to true then it 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 will run the job queue okay so job queue is the uh, job queue is the code in it which i have created if i haven't enabled this particular uh, uh, this okay so i can show you so this is the um, okay so if this is what the one which i'm talking about okay if i enable this okay if i make this true and then if i execute the error message that will that will not show the error message okay but if i didn't enable this it will show an error message so now i'm going i'm not i haven't enabled this i'm just going to execute the error so cannot run because you know because here i have mentioned that cannot run because you are trying to execute you are trying to do some uh, action on this by enabling that particular uh, uh, toggle but you haven't enabled the toggle so you cannot run the code on it so this error message it will tell you that you haven't done something okay so uh, you can use this error function uh, in if you wanted to prompt the user that the user have to do some specific action before clicking this so this is what the error message but similarly if i if i enable this okay if i enable this and if i click the error it will not show you any error it will simply execute the particular job okay so if i didn't enable it and if i am trying to execute it will show me an error so these three are very very important pr uh, uh, prompt messages okay you can see you can uh, you can tell this as a progress windows which are very very important in your business central you know to display some message some error message or some uh, dialog confirmation dialog box to the user then you will be using these three functions in order to do that so if you want to know about any specific uh, function or any specific method in business central please leave your message in the comment i will be definitely helping you out thank you take care bye bye